two hours in and so far we have seen heaps. Two different monkey species, a snake, an orangutan and its baby and some really interesting birds. It's really cool. In this episode, we head to Bukit Luang, where we trek into the jungle to catch a glimpse of wild orangutans, swim in waterfalls, go river rafting, and explore a local cave. Today, we are heading to Bukit Luang. It's about 80 kilometers from Medan, and it is the center of orangutan trekking in Sumatra. We found it at a local bus, and it should take us about two and a half hours, we hope. Well, Bukit Luang is a pretty special spot. There's this gorgeous river running right through town. It's got at least oh. four bridges over it. Water's maybe a bit cold. We're going to go for a swim. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. <laughs> bit chilly, but nice. <laughs> this is officially the troutiest looking river of our entire holiday so far. I'm pretty sure northern Sumatra does not have trout because I suspect that it's too hot but I'm still looking <laughs> our last breakfast in civilization <laughs> <laughs> today we're off trekking we leave Bukit Luang and head into the jungle Two nights, hopefully we see some orangutans, maybe some other wildlife, do some swimming and some rafting. From what we understand, there's only two places in the world where you can see orangutans in the wild, and this is one of them. So it's a bit of a bucket list item. And we're off. Yes. <laughs> we have three guides. There's two of us for the day trick and the three of us for a three days. Three days. We've just walked into a troop of monkeys. I'm not sure what they are yet. And they're on both sides of the track. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Only an hour in and we've seen our very first orangutan. Morning tea, jungle style. Ring it in, Looks amazing, fellas. Shortcut. Maybe. There's some pretty intense climbing, and it's been rainy the last few days, so it's super slippery and heaps of fun. We found another one. Yeah. This is pretty cool. It's just us now, there's only a few of us, and we have stumbled across this lady, who we're told is a teenager, and that's her first baby. We've just spotted orangutan number five, so she's about nine years old and she won't come out of the trees for humans, which is a really good sign for their future. She was born in the wild and she's showing quite wild tendencies. She's, she's up there. Lunch stop, beautiful view of uh, the jungle. Here we can see how steep it is and there's also the river down there, which is gorgeous. Check it out, it's a nasi goreng teller. 
And as we head off after lunch, it's just starting to rain. Now it's really raining, but we're still relatively protected because of the canopy. So this is Minna. Minna's known to be very aggressive, so while they generally don't feed any orangutans, they almost have to feed this one to get past. We are soaked through. Luckily, no one has fallen over. We don't know how, because it is Not crazy me. slippery, <laughs> slippery being in the jungle during a torrential downpour. But it looks like we've made camp. One final hurdle. Just got to get across the other side. I think we'll be swimming in this this <laughs> afternoon, or having a wash anyway. It has been an intrepid day on our three day, two night Bukit Luang orangutan hike. They've boiled the billy and I'm having my cup of tea in the river. <laughs> this is the life. Uganda for the gorilla. Kenya for the She's uh, clever. When I, do, I stop with her, she's come to me, not come to me. <laughs> Smart. Mm -hmm. What happened? Oh, what a night. Oh, it was so bad. <laughs> it was, admittedly we didn't get wet, so they've set up the little camp well. But it was so, so loud. All night, it was bucketing. Mm. Not a lot of sleep was had. But that's okay, we've woken up to this. A beautiful stream and a massive pack of monkeys. Are they called a pack? Troop. Troop. A massive troop of monkeys just cruising down the river. Macaques, some are even swimming to get things out of the river, which I've never seen before. It's very cool. I've just been handed my coffee <laughs> by the chef. I'm worried that Alistair thinks this is the new standard in camping. <laughs> you just turn up and someone comes out in the morning and says, Would you like a coffee? <laughs> that doesn't happen when we go camping. No, it's good. No, it's good. <laughs> Breakfast. These guys have camp cooking. Mastered. And we're off for day two. Yes, 30 minutes up the stream and then into the hills to find orangutans. We're still in the stream bed. And it is beautiful, but very dense. The flip-flop section is over. About half an hour up the river, we only had one fall, and that was Alison, not me. It is steep. This is really hard work. Yeah, it's a big climb out of the river. Yep. Occasionally we stop to look for orangutans. Haven't seen anything yet. Whew. But we've got plenty of time left. Yeah. We're playing the game called Find the Orangutan. No sightings this morning yet, but our guides reckon this is the spot. Did you find any owl? <laughs> Al's looking too, but with his eyesight, I don't like his chances. <laughs> we have found another one. She's a young female, and she's definitely not semi old enough to come down. But now she's been discovered, she's just sitting up in the tree above us. This is so cool. Good 
What did you find out? It's the, oh, we, we're looking at a hornbill. It's a lot closer than the first one. Huge rhinoceros hornbill. Big beak, colourful beak. We're on the way to our camp. I can imagine it's maybe about an hour away or so. Not totally sure. Ooh. But the climbing is getting pretty tough. Oh, it's yeah. very steep, very slippery though. Not as slippery as yesterday afternoon when we were in a torrential downpour. But our legs are a bit tired, so <laughs> we're getting there though. How are you doing, Al? Oh yeah, good. The tree routine reminds me of the Terra Rose in New Zealand. <laughs> It's got steep, it's got slippery, there's even been a vine to hold on to specifically there to try and save you. After that amazing trekking day, we have definitely earned to swim. This is night two of our trek, the accommodation is pretty good. There's a lot more huts, so some other people as well. It's just beautiful. It's our last morning in the jungle. We have elected not to go for a trek. We've seen heaps of wildlife. Legs are a bit sore after the climb down and our campsite is just a beautiful place to relax this morning. So at some stage we're going to be getting into one of those. Drifting down the river but until then we're waiting for breakfast and just enjoying some sun. That's right, that's all of our laundry. Trying to get it at least dry it won't be clean though. Time to walk up to the waterfall. I think he's just showing us how it's done. To get our last lunch, or the fruit platter anyway. We've got to inspect it for monkeys. Wow. The last adventure, rafting back to Bukit Luang. All right, last mission in Bukit Luang. I'm off to visit the Bat Cave. So Cal was doing some reading and in floods, flash flooding in 2003, Bukit Luang was pretty much wiped out. Over a thousand homes, I think 1300 homes were destroyed. A large number of people died, including five tourists. Pretty much everything gone, all the guest houses, the restaurants and everything. But since then, 16 years on, the town is thriving and there's still lots of construction here. Heaps of places to stay, loads of places to eat. I 
I found it. I've been told it's closed. I suspect that's because there's not a lot of tourists, but I'm still going to try. I understand it's 25,000 to get in. Yeah, so. 35. Today you arrived from Zango. That's the T-Rex rock. <laughs> The Bat Cave is a must-do in Bukit Luang. So much wildlife, really different, and some seriously beautiful scenery. <laughs> and that was the Bukit Luang Bat Cave. Amazing value at 25,000 a visit. And they even kept it open for me after it was definitely supposed to close. Supposedly, I was the only tourist today, which is pretty cool. I saw heaps of wildlife. I saw a millipede, which is supposedly very rare, very poisonous. I saw two different species of bat, what I'm pretty sure is a wetter, although he called it a cricket. Uh, fish, uh, crab, shrimp, all sorts. We have really liked Book of the Wing. The trek was incredible. Yep. The little village is pretty fun and the people are super friendly. Yep, Bat Cave, awesome way to finish. Just a great town. But we are off. Back on the bus. Bye bye, Book of the Wing. One final hurdle. Just gotta get across the other side. This is our awesome guide. <laughs> no, no, handsome guide. <laughs> Sorry, this is our He thinks he's a handsome guide, we just think he's the awesome guide. <laughs>